Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze a two hinged parabolic arch. Before analyzing, let us read the question and draw the diagram. A symmetrical two hinged parabolic arch has a span of 30 meter and central rise 9 meter. It carries a concentrated vertical load of 10 kN at 6 meter from the left support. In addition to a vertical load of 20 kN at the crown, find the horizontal reaction and vertical reactions at the two supports. Also calculate the maximum and minimum bending moments in the arch. Using the data available in the question, we can draw the diagram. The span of the arch is given as 30 meter. The rise is given as 9 meter. This arch is carrying a vertical load of 10 kN at 6 meter from the left support. Also, it is carrying a vertical load of 20 kN in the crown. In this question, we have to find the horizontal reaction and vertical reactions. Also, we have to calculate the maximum and minimum bending moments in the arch. Now, let's calculate the vertical reactions. First, I am going to calculate the vertical reaction BB. For that, I am going to take moment about A. In this case, I am moving towards left hand side. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. The vertical reaction VB is acting towards the point A in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be positive and the distance is 30. So 30 VB. The point load 20 kN is acting towards the point A in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be negative and the distance is 15 meter so 20 into 15 the point load 10 kN is acting towards the point A in the clockwise direction so it is also negative and the distance is 6 meter finally we are getting VB is equal to 12 kN now we can easily calculate VA by taking the total load in this arch, there are two loads, 10 kN and 20 kN. When we add them, we will get 30. 30 minus VB, we will get VA, which is equal to 18 kN. We know the formula for the horizontal thrust. H is equal to integration of m naught y dx upon integration of y square dx. In this formula, to find out the numerator, integration of m naught y dx, we have to make sections in this arch. In this arch, we are having three different parts. Before the point load 10 kN, we are having the first part between the point loads 10 kN and 20 kN, we are having the second part. After the point load 20 kN, we are having the third part. So there are three different parts. So we have to make three sections in this arch. The first section before the point load 10 kN and the second section between the point loads 10 kN and 20 kN and the third section after the point load 20 kN. So we have to make three sections. You can see that I have made three sections. The first section before the point load 10 kN and the second section between the point loads 10 kN and 20 kN and the third section after the point load 20 kN. So we have to split the numerator integration of m naught y dx into three integrations. For the first integration we have to consider the first section. For the second integration, we have to consider the second section. For the third integration, we have to consider the third section. The limits for the first integration are 0 to 6. The limits for the second integration are 6 to 15. The limits for the third integration are 0 to 15. For these two integrations, we have made the limits from the left side. 
So we have to calculate m01 and m02 from the left side. For this integration, we have made the limits from the right side. So we have to calculate m03 from the right side. Now let us do the first integration. We know that m0 is the moment about the section without considering the horizontal thrust. Up to the section, we are having only one vertical load that is VA 18 kN. There is no other load. Let us calculate M01. We are going to calculate M01 from the point A. In this case, we are moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive, anti clockwise will be negative. The vertical reaction 18 kN is acting towards the section in the clockwise direction so it will be positive and the distance is x so 18x we know the formula for y which is equal to 4hx into l minus x upon l square in this formula let us apply the value of h and l after applying we are getting this in this integration let us apply the values of m01 and y here we can apply all of the values in the calculator and make integration. If you do not know how to make integration in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video for getting ideas how to make integration in the calculator. We can do the integration manually also, but it will take more time. For manual integration, we have to apply this formula. First, let us take the constants outside. Let us multiply 18 and 1 upon 25 and take it outside. Then, let's go for integration. When we integrate x square, it will be x cube upon 3. When we integrate x cube, it will be x power 4 upon 4. Then, let's apply the limits. No need to apply the lower limit 0. Because when we apply 0, the whole term will become 0. So only apply the upper limit 6. Finally, we are getting integration of m01 y1 dx is equal to 1321.92. Now let us do the second integration. For that, we have to consider the second section. Up to the second section, there are two vertical loads. The vertical reaction 18 kN and the point load 10 kN. Let's calculate M02. The vertical reaction 18 kN is acting towards the section in the clockwise direction. So it is positive and the distance is x, so 18x. The point load 10 kN is acting towards the section in the anti clockwise direction. So it will be negative. For the distance, we have to take this distance. This distance is x minus 6. So minus 10 into x minus 6. Finally, we are getting m02 is equal to 8 into x plus 7.5. For y, we have already made one equation. In this integration, let us apply the values of m02 and y. Now let us multiply 8 with 1 upon 25 and take it outside. Then let us multiply these two values. When we multiply we are getting this. 30x square minus 7.5x square. We will get 22.5x square. Then let us go for integration. When we integrate x square we will get x cube upon 3. When we integrate x, we will get x square upon 2. When we integrate x cube, we will get x power 4 upon 4. Then let us apply the limits. First, let us apply the upper limit 15. Then let us apply the lower limit 6. After the calculations, we are getting integration of m02 y2 dx is equal to 10439.28. Now let us do the third integration. For that we have to consider the third section. Up to the section 
we are having only one vertical load that is VB 12 kN. There is no other load. We are going to calculate M03 from the point B. In this case, we are moving towards left hand side. Clockwise will be negative, anti clockwise will be positive. The vertical reaction 12 kN is acting towards the section in the anti clockwise direction. So it will be positive and the distance is x, so 12x. For y, we have already made one equation. In the integration, let us apply the values of m03 and y. Let us multiply 12 with 1 upon 25 and take it outside. Then let us go for integration. When we integrate x square, we will get x cube upon 3. When we integrate x cube, we will get x power 4 upon 4. Then let us apply the limits. Only apply the upper limit, no need to apply the zero limit. After calculation, we are getting integration of m03 y3 dx is equal to 10,125. In the integration of m0 y dx formula, we have calculated all of the integrations. We can apply all of the values. After adding all of them, we are getting 21,886.2. In the horizontal thrust formula, we have calculated the numerator integration of m0 y dx. Now let us calculate the denominator integration of y square dx. For y, we have already made one equation. Let us apply that instead of y in the formula. The limits for the integration are 0 to 30, the whole length of the arch. Now let us take the constant outside. Here 1 upon 25 is the constant. Let us take it outside. But we have to be very careful. Before take it outside, we have to square it. 25 square we will get 625. For this term, let us apply the formula a minus b the whole square, a square minus 2ab plus b square. Using the formula, we are getting this. Then let us go for integration. When we integrate x square, we will get x cube upon 3. When we integrate x cube, we will get x power 4 upon 4. When we integrate x power 4, we will get x power 5 upon 5. Then let us apply the limits. No need to apply the lower limit 0. Only apply the upper limit. Finally for integration of y square dx we are getting 1296. In the horizontal thrust formula we have calculated the numerator and the denominator. Let us apply the values. After calculation we are getting the horizontal thrust h is equal to 16.89 kN. Alternatively, we can calculate the horizontal thrust using the formulas. First, let us take the point load 10 kN. In the formula, W is equal to 10, A is equal to 6, H is equal to 9, L is equal to 30. After applying all of the values in the formula, we are getting 3.87 kN. 20 kN is acting in the crown. If the point load is acting in the crown, we have to use this formula. In this formula, W is equal to 20, L is equal to 30, H is equal to 9. After applying all of the values in the formula, we are getting H2 is equal to 13.02 kN. To calculate the horizontal thrust, we have to add these two values. After adding, we are getting horizontal thrust is equal to 16.89 kN. In the question, we have been asked to find out the maximum positive bending moment and the maximum negative bending moment. First, let us calculate the maximum positive bending moment. The maximum positive bending moment occurs under any of the point loads. In this arch, we are having two point loads, 10 kN and 20 kN. First, we are going to calculate moment under the 10 kN point load. For that, we have to find the height y6. For the height, we have already made one equation. In this equation, let us apply x is equal to 6. 
Finally, we are getting y6 is equal to 5.76 meter. Up to the section, we are having one vertical load and horizontal thrust. The vertical reaction is acting towards the section in the clockwise direction. So it will be positive and the distance is 6. So 18 into 6. The horizontal thrust is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be negative. We have already calculated the height. Let us apply that. Finally, we are getting the bending moment under the 10 kN point load is equal to 10.71 kN meter. Now, let's calculate bending moment under the 20 kN point load. Up to the section, we are having two vertical loads, 18 kN and 10 kN. Also, we are having horizontal thrust. The vertical reaction is acting towards the section in the clockwise direction. So it will be positive and the distance is 15 meter. The point load 10 kN is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be negative and the distance is 9 meter. The horizontal thrust is also acting in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be negative and the height is 9 meter. Finally, we are getting 28 kN meter. Now, let us compare both of the values. 28 kN meter is bigger. So, the maximum positive bending moment is equal to 28 kN meter and it occurs in the center. Now, let us calculate the maximum negative bending moment. The maximum negative bending moment occurs on the right side of the arch, but we do not know where it occurs exactly. So, let us make a section at a distance of x from the point B. In this section, we have to calculate the moment. We are going to calculate the moment from the point B. In this case, we are moving towards left hand side. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. The vertical reaction 12 kN is acting towards the section in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be positive and the distance is x. The horizontal thrust is acting towards the section in the clockwise direction. So it will be negative. For the height, we have already made one equation. We can apply that. After simplifying this equation, we are getting this. In this equation, we have to calculate the value of x. For that, let us apply the condition dmx upon dx is equal to 0. When we differentiate this equation with respect to x, it will be 0. When we differentiate x square, it will be 2x. 2 into 0 0.68, we will get 1.36. When we differentiate x, it will be 1. So, here we will have 8.4. Finally, we are getting x which is equal to 6.18 meter. Let us apply the value of x in this equation. After applying, we are getting minus 25.94 kN meter. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.